In a resplendent cloud, the Holy Spirit appeared. The Father's voice was heard, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Transfiguration of the Lord. Those of you who were with us on Sunday will remember that we also celebrated it on Sunday in what was called an external solemnity, which allows one to celebrate it the, week, the Sunday before and also on the day itself. As a technical point, it's different from a transference, when a transference you move it from one day to another and only celebrate it once. But today we celebrate on the day itself, the transfiguration of the Lord, when the glory of God was shone, shone forth from the person of Jesus on the mountain. Let us begin, Mass, together by calling to mind our sins. God, be gracious to us and bless us, and let the light of your face shine upon us. Lord, have mercy. May your ways be known on earth, your saving power among the nations. Christ, have mercy. You, Lord, have made known your salvation and reveal your justice in the sight of nations. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, confirmed the mysteries of faith by the witness of the fathers, and wonderfully prefigured our full adoption as children of God, grant, we pray to your servants, that listening to the voice of your beloved Son, we may merit to become co-heirs with him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. It was not any cleverly invented myths that we were repeating when we brought you the knowledge of the power and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. We had seen his majesty for ourselves. He was and glorified by God the Father when the sublime glory itself spoke to him and said, This is my Son, the Beloved. He enjoys my favour. We heard this ourselves spoken from heaven when we were with him on the holy mountain. So we have confirmation of what was said in prophecies, and you will be right to depend on prophecy and take it as a lamp for lighting a way through the dark until the dawn comes and the morning star rises in your minds. This is the word of the Lord. In response to the psalm, the Lord is King, most high above all the earth. The Lord is King, 
most high above all the earth. The Lord is King, let earth rejoice, let all the coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiment, his throne justice and right. The Lord is King, most high above all the earth. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice, all people see his glory. The Lord is King, most high above all the earth. For you indeed are the Lord, most high above all the earth, exalted far above all spirits. The Lord is King, most high above all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. This is my son, the beloved. He enjoys my favour. Listen to him. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took with him Peter and James and his brother John and led them up a high mountain where they could be alone. There, in their presence, he was transfigured. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light. Suddenly Moses and Elijah appeared to them. They were talking with him. Then Peter spoke to Jesus. Lord, he said, it is wonderful for us to be here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He was still speaking when suddenly a bright cloud covered them with shadow, and from the cloud there came a voice which said, This is my son, the beloved. He enjoys my favour. Listen to him. When they heard this, the disciples fell on their faces, overcome with fear. But Jesus came up and touched them. Stand up, he said, do not be afraid. And when they raised their eyes, they saw no one but only Jesus. As they came down from the mountain, Jesus gave them this order. Tell no one about the vision until the Son of Man has risen from the dead. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Let us pray. As we rejoice in the glory of God shown forth through the person of Jesus on the holy mountain, let us pray that we will be filled with that glory that we may have a glimpse of the glory of Jesus and his heavenly Father in our lives each day. Let us ask that we will be alert to the presence of God in the world, that we will see him revealed in people around us. And let us ask that we may be people of glory ourselves. That our faith may shine from us. And that when others look on our face, they will see the face of God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So let us pray that we will be alert to the presence of God in other people. That we will see the face of Jesus in those among whom we live and work. That we will serve others as Jesus himself would serve.
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Today in particular, we continue to pray for the stricken people of Beirut, in that city where there seems to be no glory today. Where the face of God is covered in blood and tears. We pray for all those who are struggling, having been made homeless and jobless, having lost their loved ones, those who are coping with injury. And we pray too for all those still searching in rubble for survivors and for bodies. And for all the medical staff of the different hospitals in that city as they try to bring relief. We ask that the glory of God shown forth on the holy mountain may bring hope in the midst of their despair. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now let us pray for those for whom we have been asked to pray today. Among those who are sick, we continue to pray for Mark and Ian, Bert and Louise, Rose and Christina, Adolfo and Derek, and Natalie. And we pray too for those who watch and wait with those who are sick and suffering today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And let us pray for the souls of the departed. For all those whose lives were cruelly ended in Beirut on Tuesday. And also for Kerry Jones and Steve Rimmer, both of whom have died recently. And we pray too for the soul of Eleanor Geary, whose anniversary of death falls today. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Merciful Father, Accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Let us pray that this, our sacrifice, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Lord, by the transfiguration of your Son, make our gifts holy, and by his radiant glory, free us from our sins. We ask this in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. He revealed his glory to the disciples to strengthen them for the scandal of the cross. His glory shone from a body like our own to show that the church, which is the body of Christ, would one day share his glory. In our unending joy we echo on earth the song of the angels in heaven as they praise your glory forever and say, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of Mary, the Mother of God, St. Luke, St. James and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord by whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honour is yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, Grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot, at this moment, receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, you revealed the true radiance of Christ in the glory of his transfiguration. May the food we receive from heaven change us into his image. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. <laughs>